I have to say, that was uh, quite a day. It was very, very, very cold out. And uh, we shot with um, me in a summer dress because we're, it's supposed to look like June. So it was funny because we're shooting and everybody's all uh, bundled up in like hats and mitts, eh, baby? Yes, except for my honey was in it's no like, sleeves summer dress. It was very cold. So uh, I'm back and I'm safe. I pulled my eyelashes off, so I, my makeup probably looks a little funny. But I just wanted to take a minute to show you some of the lovely gifts that I got um, while we were shooting the candy show. Don't mind the sound of the tick, tick, tick. That's the dogs. You guys are used to that. First of all, um, Charlie Acord sang a special song for me. That was a wonderful gift. Like He performed on the show and then had set it up to play a song for actually for Denise and I. Uh, which is his song, You've Got a Friend of Me. That was lovely. And then a woman on, um, not that night, but the night before, gave me this beautiful bracelet. I'm going to take it out of the bag. She says, Candy, you've been hemped. Um, and uh, she's on Facebook. I guess you can find her uh, at facebook.com front slash hemped jewelry. It's a beautiful pink and black bracelet in candy show colors with a dream catcher, which is really, really pretty. I will totally wear that. Um, you'll probably see it in future videos. So that was so sweet, I was so touched. Then there was um, another night that a woman that's come for a couple of years brought me this box. And in it are homemade cookies, gourmet cookies, a bunch of them that are chocolate with the, the lips on them, and then a bunch of them that are vanilla that say the candy show. And like a whole box of those, which was really, really cool. I also got a whole box of sweets from Kitchen Door Catering, who does our catering on the set, and I would show you those. <laughs> there was like biscotti and fudge and homemade marshmallows and like sort of like a poppycock, homemade poppycock mix, really nice. Three women came from my home community, Il River Bar, E-R-B, E-R-B, um, Shelly Hiron and her two friends, the Jerome ladies, and they brought me a beautiful mug, it's a Lean and Tree mug, and it says, we can do no great things, only small things with great love, and uh, it's a young native girl on the mug, so I thought that was really, really pretty. And then the most beautiful and fragrant Carrie Smith and her husband Ian. Carrie is just the most beautiful creature both inside and out. Um, came to the show on the final night and look at what they brought me. Wow. Like so beautiful. They're these big lush roses uh, in pink and white and I put them in my favorite vase which gives them a real Kate Spade feel I think. So I felt like a real superstar because when I woke up the morning after there were these roses, my uh, director gave me a rose, there was a flower arrangement from APTN, it has died, we just got rid of it today. And then Denise handed me this monstrosity. If you'll get up close and show that Denise, that's like, that is the most incredible floral arrangement I have ever seen and I am not kidding, that weighs 50 pounds. Look at the size of it. It is <laughs> huge. You almost have to show yourself next to it so they get the scale. Like, this is the size of it. Are you seeing it? Crazy. Yes. So beautiful. And the size of the roses in that are like the size of Denise's head. And the lilies are the size of my head. Yeah. Look at that. It's just beautiful. Beautiful. From my mother's bloomers. Check the water on that. Yeah. Yes, Neville at My Mother's Bloomers is just the nicest guy. I got lots of CDs from artists that performed on the show as well, and some uh, guitar picks and also uh, uh, beer cases. A uh, lovely, lovely man, Kev Corbett, who played backup uh, both guitar and bass for me for a number of artists, found out from Denise what I drink, and this is like the coolest liquor bag I have ever seen. It's like it says pop. Fizz, roast, chug, bubbly, celebrate. I don't know if that actually came from the liquor store or what, but he gave me my favorite drink, which is Beef Eater, London Beef Eater Gin. That's that's my that's my that's my jam. And there was a really really cool card with that. That's going to get promo plaque for our bathroom. And then Sue Richard, she, she went too far. 
She is such a sweet, sweet person. And she's my Leah Sophia representative. And um, she came in with this bag for me. She gave it to Denise. I put it in my dressing room. And I waited to open it. And when I opened it, I was overwhelmed. Um, it's just crazy. Let's just start. First, this adorable bag that looks like a rose, but it's... You know what I mean? It opens up and it's like... Oh, neat. Dun, 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 dun. You got yourself a little shopping bag, but it looks like a rose, which... How cute can you get? I don't know where she finds some of these things. This is the same person that got me those sunglasses that look like wine glasses. A really cute um, emery board that says, You are beautiful on it. And who doesn't need more things in their life that says, You are beautiful. Post-it notes with all fun, colorful animal prints. A great little Ikea reusable shopping bag. I think it's a shopping bag. Hang on. Yeah, a lovely Ikea reusable shopping bag. A lovely card, which I... That's just between us. I will not read that. This great spa kit, Eco Pure Products, and it is a cleansing body wash, a moisturizing bath soap, which I love, and a soothing, soothing body polish. So nice. A bookmark, because you know how much I read, and the bookmark says believe, which is the theme of my life. You have to believe it to make it happen. The prettiest little notebook hmm. with all these butterflies on it. And then, this gorgeous necklace from Leah Sophia, which I looked at, mm. but didn't get. <laughs> but now I have. I'm almost like shy from it. Like it's, um, she's just too kind to me. Beautiful necklace in my color. I mean, you can see me wearing that every day in the summer. This is so pretty. If it ever actually is summer here, look how pretty that is going to be with a white tank and some jeans, a pair of cowboy boots or sandals. Mm, nice. So gorgeous. I didn't even see that one in the catalog, so I don't know if that's like some reserved thing or what. <laughs> she's a kind, kind person and she spoils me rotten. She knows I love that kind of black blingy, too cool stuff. Mm. And finally, I mean, this is crazy how much jewelry she gave me. Um, I'm so thankful because it's so beautiful. Look at these. Whoa. <laughs> They're gorgeous. Wow. And she totally does this to be kind and sweet, not expecting anything in terms of, but you know, me shouting out to her company, but I have to shout out. <laughs> You're going to see a link down mm -hmm. below. Yep. That is Sue's Leah Sophia page. Um, if you are interested in Leah Sophia jewelry, it doesn't matter where you live, go to her site and get it from her. Yep. And she can have it delivered straight to your house. Um, the jewelry is beautiful. It's guaranteed for life. Um, other than like my real diamonds or real jewelry, you know, um, real stones. Everything else you see me wearing is all from Leah Sophia in all my videos, when you see me on TV, all of that. Um, and she hooks me up with all that stuff. So thank you so much, Sue. There's one other thing I really want to talk about, and I'm going to put a link down below to her as well, which I recorded this the night it happened, but for some reason it got erased off our camera. Hmm. The night before we were about to shoot, the person who was supposed to perform on the very first episode did not get off the airplane. 
there was a mix up and he didn't make it. So I am now, it's like 9 30, 10 o'clock at night, the night before we're about to start the candy show, and I don't have a guest. I called up Christine Campbell, who, when you're watching the vlogs and you hear that song, I may be a chick, but I ain't no lady, that's her singing with her former band, Stone Mary, but she's also a solo artist. And I said to her, Christine, I know it's 10 o'clock at night. I need to ask you a huge favor. I need you to come and perform on the candy show tomorrow. It means you're going to have to show up at rehearsal at like 12 noon, be there in the afternoon, come back, perform at night. Can you do it? Here's what Christine says to me. Well, um, I'm moving tomorrow, taking possession of a new apartment. Um, I have a gig at 9 o'clock at the Carlton. And then uh, after that gig, I have to just throw some things in a suitcase because at 3 a.m. I'm getting on a flight to fly to the Dominican to play at a wedding. Uh, so yeah, Candy, sure, I'll do you that favor. Then, so I'm like so thankful she's going to do it. Then I said, okay, I'm going to pass the phone to Denise um, so she can you know, get your info to make sure that you get paid tomorrow. And she goes, oh, you're going to pay me? <laughs> she was going to do that for me for free. I said, well, of course I'm going to pay you. She goes, well, you asked me for a favor. Well, the favor is that you're going to, like, squeeze it into your day. Yeah. Of course I will pay you. But that is how kind and amazing that woman is. She was going to, in the middle of that friggin' hell day, come and do me that favor for free. So um, I will never v ask you to do very much, but I would ask you this. Mm -hmm. If you have a spare dollar or a dollar twenty-nine or whatever it is, go to her iTunes and buy one of her songs. I'm going to put a link down below. Just um, help me show her our appreciation for what she did for the candy show. Plus, I absolutely 100% promise you, whatever song you download, oh my gosh, you're going to love. She's beautiful. And Run is... Run is fantastic. Oh, but you'll once you hear her... Oh my goodness. Everything of hers is fantastic. Beautiful. Music. So I like, again, you know, it's no pressure, but if you have a $1.29 to spare and you feel like listening to a new artist, um, she is a worthwhile artist to support. Absolutely. A, because she is just absolutely drop dead amazing at what she does, and B, because she is an amazing person. Yes. Um, so for to everyone who... Um, not just everyone who brought me gifts, but everyone who came out and supported the show. All of you on YouTube who were um, not here where you could come, and a lot of you not even where you can watch the show, but we're sending Denise and I lovely messages and well wishes. I just want you to know, I can feel that. When I step out on that stage at night, I am not young, I am not thin, um, I am not what you usually see on TV, but when I step out onto that stage in the evening, I step out in full confidence because I can honestly and truly feel all that love and positivity that you all send my way. And I just wanted to say, like, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. It was my best season to date. Um, I think everyone on the show was thoroughly happy, thoroughly thrilled with how it went. And uh, Denise and I are pretty tired, but we're pretty happy, aren't we, baby? We are. Why don't you come around and be in the, be in the shot as we sign this off? So we're getting some much much needed time with our puppies who are they're mad at us very because we have been gone for um, two weeks. We also want to shout out to Heather and Julie, the handy hers, the handy hers, with whom we could not have gotten through this week, but they're still not done helping us. They painted, they cleaned, they straightened, they babysat dogs, they hung lights, they took lights down, they put plates on, on all of our light switches. They are coming back tomorrow. Tomorrow night is our wrap party. They're going to come while we go to the wrap party and look after our dogs and put my lights back up in the house and tidy the house for us. <laughs> They're like... Yeah. It, they seriously are a huge part of our lives and we're so, so thankful for them too. So. Yep. On that, uh -huh. My heart's getting tired. say goodnight, gorgeous. Goodnight, gorgeous.